In this section, we're going to look at some of the more advanced color grading tools available in Scratch to start isolating portions of an image and making adjustments to just those areas. I'm working in the same construct that we've been building up all along. I'm just going to take this construct into the player and again, right click to bring me to the matrix tool set. Now, previously we were looking at all of the primary grading tools available in Scratch. Now let's take a look at some of the more advanced color tools, such as vectors. This is a standard six vector color arrangement where I can take any color, isolate it, and then apply hue, saturation, and lightness controls to it. In this case, I've chosen a yellow vector, and I'm just going to hue shift that around a little bit. And when I hit a certain point, I'm actually going to kind of neutralize the yellow in that image. But you'll see I've still preserved some of the skin tones here, the red and the lips, so I haven't completely taken all of the color out of this image. So vectors are very useful for being able to isolate any six colors in an image and then apply hue, saturation, and lightness to those. The curve menu gives us similar controls but with a lot more precision. In this case, I'm looking at just a master luminance curve and I can make adjustments to that by just changing the profile of this curve. I can also get more specific by adjusting a particular hue's saturation Again, just pulling this curve into the shape that I'm looking for. And now I've started to remove some of that yellow again. The curve menu gives us a wide range of different remapping curves that we can apply. Similarly, we can apply a shot-by-shot -shot lookup table. We support 1D or 3D lookup tables in a variety of formats, and each can be applied to an individual shot to create a look or a reference as a starting point to do further grading inside Scratch. Switching to another shot, let's look at how we can further isolate down on a particular image. To do that, I'm going to open up my Scaffolds view. Scaffolds are the color layering system inside Scratch. They allow us to build up different layers of color grading on our image. For example, I want to isolate this girl's face in this shot. So I'm going to create a scaffold now. I can name that scaffold face, and let me create a shape that just goes around this woman's face. Now that I have that shape, I can use all of the same primary color grading tools that we were looking at previously, but just restricted to within that particular shape. I'm going to invert this to apply that color grade outside of the shape, add a little bit of softness onto that, and now we have something that really highlights the woman's face in this shot. Since this is a moving shot, we're going to need to track this scaffold now. So I can open up my tracking window, let me zoom in on that a little bit, and I can position my tracking point, let's say on the earring right here. I can also bring in a second tracking point which will allow me to get scaling and rotation information. With those trackers in place, let's just track through this image. Once the trackers have finished, I can close the tracking window, and now that shape has been animated based on the tracking. I'm going to take this one step further now by duplicating that same scaffold, and this time we're just going to call this Highlights, and we'll actually isolate down the highlights inside this shape. To do that, I'm going to use a qualifier. We can qualify based on color, such as RGB or hue, saturation, and lightness, or we can use just luminance values such as highlights, midtones, and shadows, and then we have a curve which allows us to choose exactly which luminance range we want to work with. I'll just modify this curve a bit to isolate a particular luminance range, and now dial it around until I find exactly the range that I want, in this case just the highlights on the woman's face. The area that I've isolated is shown with this pink color right now. If I turn that off, I can see my color grading being applied, and again, I have all of my primary color grading tools that I can use just within those highlight areas. If I wanted to soften up the edge of this a bit, I have a blur option here, which will allow me to blur that matte, and I also have the ability to blur the actual image itself if I really want to soften up those highlights. I can control the blending mode as well. Let's bring that to an additive blend and dial it down quite a bit. And now I can control how much of that highlight effect I'm seeing based on the opacity of that scaffold. I can also activate and deactivate individual scaffolds to see what my image looks like. So I can go all the way back to my ungraded image, look at just the primary grade, the scaffold that accentuates her face, and then further brings out the highlights. At any time, I can come back to the primary grade and still regrade this image with all of my scaffolds being applied on top. If I had an external matte image, I could apply that to the scaffold as an additional holdback. So the more advanced color grading tools such as vectors, curves, shot-by-shot -shot LUTs, and the scaffold mechanism allow us to isolate particular areas of a shot and really craft the look that we want for each shot in our project.